Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to discuss and give solutions and the approach for another question. This time it will be a SQL question. So this question is uh, a question which already came in cognizant uh, CSD exam. So this was from 9th October exam date and this uh, SQL question is basically based on professors and department. Okay, so before moving into the question discussion, I will ask you guys if you are new to the channel and if you have not subscribed to the channel yet. and do subscribe to the channel and you can uh, also click on the bell icon and you can join my telegram channel from the description link uh, and you can join my youtube channel as well by paying a very little amount to get earliest access and your personalized video and uh, prioritized query solution or comment replies and all this now let's move on to the question and check so the question is uh, saying first let's read the question then we will see the tables so the question is saying the university maintains data about professors and department in two different tables okay so there are two tables one for professor and one for departments so we need to write a query to show what things we need to show the name and salary we need to show only two attributes or two columns that are name and salary for for whom we need to show that so we need to show this name and salary for each professor who will satisfy the following two requirements so that there are two requirements listed under this so who those professors who will satisfy or who will abide by these two requirements we need to give their name and salary in the output so what are the requirements the first requirement is that the professor does not work in arts and humanities department so there is a department named arts and humanities so the professor should not be uh, working on that department okay and what is the second requirement the professor professor's salary should be greater than so the professor's salary should be greater than a certain amount what is the certain amount let's see so the professor's salary should be greater than the smallest salary of any professor from arts and humanities department so first we need to check what is the smallest or minimum salary uh, among all the professors in arts and humanities department and uh, we need to use that uh, minimum uh, that minimum salary in our where clause uh, that we will need to use that if the professor's salary uh, of the departments which are mentioned and if their department is not arts and humanities and if their salary is greater than the minimum salary uh, of minimum salary of what minimum salary of all the professors in arts and humanities department then we will uh, show them so let's check the tables uh, given there so from the tables already we can see there are two tables one for professor and one for uh, department okay and the common column or common attribute is the id so for the department the id column in the department table is similar to the department id column of the professor's table so how will we approach the question so first we need to write the select queries like what will we select then we need to join those two tables and then we will check the where condition so there are two where conditions first is the department name that the department should not be uh, in the uh, like uh, in arts and humanities and the next thing is that the salary uh, minimum salary check so for the minimum salary check we will come to that later so for select we will write select professor dot name and professor dot salary from which table from professor uh, table and we need to join it to the uh, which uh, table we need to join it to the department table so we need to uh, from salary uh, professor join department on uh, professor uh, what is the join condition after join, uh, join after on keyword we will write the join condition that is department dot id uh, or, and professor dot department id these two columns are these two attributes are equal so we will write uh, join uh, professor join department on professor dot department id equals to department dot id and we will write the where clause that the department name should not be that is the department name not equals to and we will pass the value of the string that is arts and humanities okay so as we are passing a string at, uh, string value we will be uh, putting it inside a single quote so we will be writing where department dot name not equals to arts and humanities that is the first condition we are checking and then for the next condition we will be writing that after our and keyword because we will be checking two conditions that we uh, using the and uh, and the professor dot salary that is the salary of the professor should be greater than a minimum value so we'll be writing professor dot salary greater than and we need to calculate the minimum value for all the professor salaries in the arts and humanities department using another sub query so for that sub query uh, i am writing that in the latter part for that sub query is written inside the first bracket you can see it is written as select minimum salary the minimum is the aggregate function you already know from my uh, playlist so we'll write select minimum of salary
salary from professor joint department uh, so we'll need to join those again because we need to check the uh, department name for those who have only uh, arts and humanities as the department and we need to calculate their minimum salary only so for that we need to join so we will write select minimum salary from professor joint department and then the joining condition or we will write uh, on professor dot department id equals to department dot id that is our join condition where department name here we will write equals to okay here we will not write not equals to because we need to calculate the minimum salary for those who have arts and humanities as the department so we will be write, uh, writing where department dot name equals to arts and humanities okay so this where clause will give us the salary of all the professors for this department and we will calculate the minimum of those uh, salaries which is the uh, minimum salary for arts and humanities department and this whole sub query will return us the value of the minimum salary for among all the professors salaries in the arts and humanities department so this whole sub query inside the bracket will return us that particular minimum salaries value and what we are writing after the end after end we are writing that professor dot salary greater than this sub query so the professors whose are already not inside arts and humanities department and their salary is greater than this particular uh, sub query written value that is the minimum value of the arts and humanities department salary so the, the, the professor salary should be greater than that so for that we are using this sub query here if you want to know more how to use sub queries and all uh, there is a particular video in my channel i will uh, give you the sql playlist link from that link you can check the sub query video that's it